the second my dad saw his face, he knew it was him. So when I heard my dad say it, that's when I knew. Two days on the run after the violent killing of his wife, Walton County deputies now confirm they have murder suspect Jerome Mobley in custody. Authorities are crediting a Monroe teen and his dad with helping in the arrest. Fox 5's George Franco joins us from the Walton County Sheriff's Office. And George, we understand Mobley shot himself. Russ and Sine, the Walton County Sheriff's Office here says that armed murder suspect Jerome Mobley shot himself in the face with a shotgun this afternoon when he was approached by a father and his teenage son. It was right over here on the picnic table. And he was? And he was right over here laying in the grass. 18-year-old Brantley Womack showed me the model down edge of a hay field about 25 feet from where he and his grandmother had been grilling around four this afternoon. He says that's where he spotted Jerome Mobley who had vanished after investigators say he shot his wife in front of their children at a social circle home early Wednesday morning. The second my dad saw his face he knew it was him. So. When I heard my dad say it, that's when I knew. Brantley says he went into the house to get his dad, who came outside with his gun. By now, their black lab sis had gone into the field after Mobley had been spotted by the teen. They told me Mobley fled, running a short link to this location where they next heard a shotgun blast. I called his name, and as soon as I called his name, he shot. And I really thought that he may have been shooting at us. The sheriff's office says Mobley shot himself with a 12-gauge shotgun in the face. Investigators say Mobley was airlifted to Grady Hospital in Atlanta, where he's expected to survive. Sheriff Joe Chapman says Mobley was spotted about seven miles from the social circle location where he's suspected of shooting his wife to death. He says Mobley left that crime scene injured. When we uh, found him here, he'd been shot in the inner right thigh. By his, his, we suspect his wife. The sheriff says it appears Mobley had been hiding in fields and woods since getting shot Wednesday. He says the 39-year-old armed with the shotgun survived apparently by drinking creek water and was moving at night. The Womacks told me they heard from the victim's family thanking them for helping them seek justice. The devastation in that family is, is you can't put words on it, so I'm just, I'm glad he's caught. And Walton County Sheriff Joe Chapman says it's unclear how long it will take Mobley to recover at Grady Hospital in Atlanta, then be transferred here back to Walton County to face charges for the murder of his wife. Now